Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We are to find the area of a this right triangle. And we are given three semicircles inside and outside the right triangle. And the measure of the area of these semicircles are 3 pi each. And we are to find the area of the right triangle. So, first thing that we have to do is we need to find diameter is this semicircle so if we have the area as 3 now so we have the uh, 3 pi times d squared so we need to multiply this on the one because this is semicircle then this becomes 8 times 3 and that will be going to is equal to the scale. But we need to transcend this value. You can say that if we take this thing to the good size, then we have the scale of the scale is equal to the And this is actually the scale on 6 times 1. And this becomes D is equal to 2 squared to 6. Okay, so now that we know the diameter of the semicircle to be 2 squared to 6, then since this is a right triangle, then we need to set this angle. One angle can be set as beta. And this is the complementary. Let us call this alpha. Okay, and let us label this length to be x, and this is y, this one. Okay, so next is we label this radius of the inner semicircle as square root of 6. Since it is the radius, diameter divided by 2. And this should be also square root of 6, the square root of 6 to the center. Okay. And this is square root of 6 also. And also, with this radius, square root of 6, we form a right triangle, a smaller right triangle, which is a similar right triangle with the bigger right triangle okay so if we consider the opposite side over the adjacent side of the bigger right triangle then we have opposite side for angle alpha then we have 2 square root of 6 all over the adjacent which is y plus 2 square root of 6 and it is equal to the opposite side again, but we need to look at the smaller right triangle. That would be the square root of 6 all over x. Okay, so we can cancel this out, the square root of 6, then 2x, if we cross multiply, is equal to y plus 2 square root of 6. Okay, so for this step is we need to use the opposite over the hypotenuse but uh, still referring to angle alpha. And for the bigger right triangle, we have 2 square root of 6, which is the opposite side and the hypotenuse is x plus 2 square root of 6 is equal to, for the smaller right triangle, the opposite side is square root of 6 okay and the hypotenuse is y plus square root of 6 and if we simplify this we have to answer this square root of 6 then we have 2 times y if we cross multiply plus 2 square root of 6 
equal to x plus 2 square root of 6. And as you can see, we can cancel out this 2 square root of 6 and it simplifies to x is equal to 2y. Okay. So next is, since we are looking for the area, then we need to focus on the height and the base. And on the height, it is only 2 square root of 6, while on the base, we need a value for y. And for us to find the value of y, then we need to use this first equation and this second equation. So we use the first equation, 2x is equal to y plus 2 square root of 6. Then since x is equal to 2y, then we have 2 times 2y is equal to y plus 2 square root of 6. Then this becomes 4y is equal to y plus 2 square root of 6. 4y minus y is equal to 3y is equal to 2 square root of 6. y is equal to 2 thirds square root of 6. Okay, so now for the final step is we need to find the area it's equal to 1 half times the base, which is 2 thirds, which is the value of y 2 thirds square root of 6 plus 2 square root of 6. Then this becomes 2 square root of 6 for the height. Then we can actually factor out the square root of 6 and multiply that with square root of 6 times this becomes square. Then this becomes 3 divided by 3 is 1. I mean times 2. Then plus 3 divided by 1 is 3. Then this becomes 6. Then this becomes 2. And this becomes cancel out. Then this becomes actually 6. And this becomes 6 divided by 3 is 2. And if we simplify, then we have 2 times 8, which is 16 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.